If you do things right, people won't be sure you've done anything at all. When Bender finds himself drifting alone through space, a small asteroid crashes into him, and a tiny civilization of Shrimpkins emerge and begin worshipping him as a god. After trying to mug one of them, he develops a soft spot upon realizing they need help. As they pray to him for miracles, his attempts to answer their prayers only serve to make the situations worse. So he decides to stop intervening, eventually causing a group of non-believers to form next to his shiny metal ass. It doesn't take long for the worshippers and non-believers to eventually destroy each other in apocalyptic fashion, once again leaving Bender hopelessly alone. But he soon encounters a galaxy that can shockingly speak English. Bender quickly discovers the galaxy is essentially God and shares his own story as acting God to the Shrimpkins. The all-knowing galaxy compliments Bender that he was doing well until everyone died. He then consoles Bender, saying being a God is not easy. If one does too much, people get dependent. But if one does too little, they lose hope. Quoting, if you do things right, people won't be sure you've done anything at all. The galaxy then says farewell and flings Bender back to Earth, where he almost immediately sets off to save the lives of some trapped monks. Fry protests, suggesting maybe their God will let them out. But Bender simply states, you can't count on God for Jack. But as the camera pans out, the galaxy chuckles, restating,